Thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, 25 years ago this Saturday, December the 6th, 1989, a man who hated women walked into the classrooms at Ecole Polytechnique in Montreal, separated the men from the women on different sides of the room, and started shooting. He killed 14 women that day. He killed 14 women because he had not been accepted into the engineering school and believed it was the fault of feminists. I am a feminist. I was 31 at the time and working for the Alberta Advisory Council on Women's Issues. This event shaped my life and the lives of many of my peers, especially women working in sectors assisting women. For the first time, it was made clear to us that being a feminist, working in the areas of women's issues, or even being a student in a non-traditional school program was enough to get you killed. It terrified our parents, lovers, and friends. Stevie Cameron wrote a stunning piece in the Globe and Mail entitled, Our Daughters, Ourselves. I recommend it. Because none of these students or staff were activists, it makes me take my work even more seriously. This is why I am so fierce, why I get up after being knocked down over and over and over again, why after I've been heckled and denied. It's because of the Montreal massacre. If I was going to get yelled at, injured or shot, it would happen while I and my colleagues were building a Canada less likely to produce another man killing women, to make Canada stronger, more inclusive, tolerant, with women more secure in their capacity to earn money, have better access to advanced education, quality childcare for their kids, to become the boss, to reduce the barriers that were systematic in the legal and justice systems, to eliminate abuse, poverty, inequality, or discrimination of any kind. A year later, I convened a committee of terrific women who would produce for many years the annual event to commemorate the Man Montreal Massacre, later made a national day of action and remembrance on violence against women. These same women joined me today to mark this life-changing event. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.